Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to create um, a study where it'll highlight all the areas where there were imbalances. And so, for example, right here, you can see we have this imbalance area, and then it shades this in. And then same thing up here, we have that imbalance area, this um, exhaustion, and then this imbalance. And then you can also see we kind of have an imbalance right here. Um, but the highlight goes away as it's um, taken out. And then same thing a couple places within here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And first thing you want to do, so once you have your footprint chart up, you got your numbers bar study all set up, you're going to want to go studies. And I already have this done because it takes quite a bit of time just because there's so many settings that you have to ignore. Um, but if you go in here, you're going to want to go and type in volume and then go to volume at price threshold v2 and then you're going to want to open that up and then you're going to change this which will be set at volume you're going to want it to ask volume bid volume diagonal ratio and that's going to show you um, the imbalances and then volume threshold zero because it doesn't matter and then you're going to keep this at alert disabled and then so that it extends, you're going to have to change this to all prices in adjacent alerts. And that way it'll draw extensions. And then put this as yes. And then you're going to want to put 300 here. And all the settings in the second one, they're both going to be the same, but the other one will be negative 300. That way when it has a downward, an imbalance when we're moving down and an imbalance when we're moving up it will show both ways and then put this to zero yes and you're going to change this one to set percentage to plus minus a thousand percent and then three no and then number number of days to calculate um, you can just put six or any number you want to calculate and then you're going to go into here and i pretty much went through everything almost and ignored about all of this so I ignored all of this until around here where it says adjacent alert highlight bottom three. And so I kept all these at the default from that one to the bottom right here. Count alerts, just kept that normal. And then I went into extension lines, changed it to white, and then changed the draw style to line. Um, so you can, I'll show you. Um, so you can change, let's say I change this to red. Now you can see the upward imbalance would be red, or let's say we want it blue, and then we want the downward imbalance to be red. Then we could go out of this, go into your other one, exact same settings other than this is negative 300. And so if you want to do this, you can probably just pause it and then put in all these settings, go and ignore all of these triggers until the bottom um, three, and then keep all of these the same till here. And then you can change the color of this, change the draw style to line. And for this one, I'll let's say put red. So now this way we're going to see imbalances on both sides. We see imbalance from the down move right there, imbalance from the up move right here. And then you can see all these previous um, imbalances that we had. And then exhaustion as well might show up imbalance right here so it's just a cool little way to see imbalances using the volume at price threshold um, v2 um, study and that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys can see what I did you just have this this will be 300 and negative 300 for the other one so that it shows both directions just ignore everything until this bottom three to this one, keep those the same, and then go to this, change the draw style of the line, change it to whatever color you want, and voila.